All right, hey, welcome back live here to Southeast Texas Humane Society. Uh, Kara Willis, Nick Canizales. You know, we're in the cat section. This is a brand new facility. If you've never been here, you need to come out here and uh, check this place out. It is actually gorgeous out here. It is gorgeous, and there's lots of good energy here, not only from the pets, but the people coming in, too. And we're actually going to talk to some of them in just a second. Yeah, so there's, you know, we're in the cat section here. 18 cubicles. There's nine cats in here. Let's, let's take a look in here. All right, here we go. We've got Dolly here. Hi, Dolly. Hi. <laughs> and then over here, we have um, someone that actually works here. Yes, what is your name? I'm Madison. Madison, um, thank you for all that you guys do here. How are you feeling about today's event with Clear the Shelters? I'm a little nervous, but I'm honestly just super excited. Very exciting. How long have you been with the company? Uh, I've been working here since January of last year, so it's been over a, a year. Okay, over a year. Great. Um, tell us exactly, you know, for anyone who's coming out to adopt today, you know, what it takes to, you know, adopt a cat or a dog, that responsibility component. Um, it's honestly just like once you do the application, uh, it's just finding the one that clicks with you, um, s making sure that they are the right fit for the family. And that's really, that's really it, just making sure that they're the one. <laughs> making sure they're the one. And what are some of the things that you do um, before you adopt? Um, do you allow them to go into a room if there's a family that's interested in a particular pet? Yes. Uh, so when they come in, uh, specifically when they have an appointment, we take them to our cat meet and greet room. Um, and in that meet and greet room, they are allowed to socialize with the animal, see more of its personality. If they happen to not like the personality, they can meet anyone else here as long as they don't have an approved application on them already. Um, and yeah, sometimes we have some appointments who come, like who come and then they can't decide so they come back um, just to meet with them again. Okay, and Nick, what are you doing? Yeah, hey, listen, you know, our 12 News crew will be here from 9 to 12, and then, you know, this will be going all afternoon long. You got bounce houses, you have Boss Burger here, snow cones. Johnny, my man, tell us about who do you have here. This is Michael Jackson, the cat, and he's a good cat if you have other cats and if you stay home. Like, if you work from home, he's a good cat to just keep you entertained. Perfect. And how many cats do you have at home? Two. All right, so I hear you have Roxy, and then what's the other cat's Stormy. name? Stormy. Now, your brother was saying, uh, which one was a little bit heavy? Eats a lot. Who leads a lot? Oh, Roxy. Roxy. Well, you. cat. <laughs> older than me. Is she? Uh, would you want to adopt another cat, or do you have too many? I want to adopt Michael Jackson. <laughs> I'll, tell you, I'll tell you what, there's a lot of great-looking cats out here. There's Franny out here. Squidward, uh, Patrick Starr, who we featured on... Uh, on, um, on, on daybreak in the morning. So okay. lots, of lots of good selection here, but also we want to kind of pivot over here and Madison's going to talk to us about Toe Beans. Get this, longest resident here. He's been here since they opened back in February. So Madison, tell us a bit about Toe Beans' personality. What would make a good loving home for him? So Toe Beans would definitely benefit from, uh, from a, a household that has other cats. He's a very social cat. Um, he opens up more with others. Um, he is a very shy cat, but when given the opportunity, uh, he is one of the sweetest. Um, Anything else to say about him or anyone else in here? Missy Elliott, sweet corn? Uh, Missy Elliott, sweet as well. Um, I actually use her kind of like a foster cat until uh, a foster cat to the kittens until she gets adopted because she does amazing with them. She teaches them how to be more more kitten-like <laughs> instead of just all over the place. Um, she's a she's a really she's a really good cat. So lots of great selection here, guys. If you're looking for a cat, a dog, they have it here at the Humane Society. Nick, we're going to be out here till noon. We'll be out here till noon. A couple of them have been adopted. Adoption fees. What what are the adoption fees today? Um, so some of them are 35, some of them are, I believe, 75, and I th want to say 65. Yeah, we've seen, you know, a lot of things spayed and neutered. Uh, a lot of them are, uh, yes. Yes. Uh, almost everyone in here is spayed and neutered. Um, everyone's up to date with vaccinations. All right, perfect. A lot of great information out here. And, and uh, Alexa, we'll be here all morning long until uh, 12 noon for the 12 News crew. And this has been going on all afternoon. Bounce houses, food trucks, you name it. They have it. Snow cones out everything. here. Yeah, so we'll, we'll see you back here coming up uh, later on this afternoon.